Today I'll be showing you how to pre-shape your dough. In this case, I made two loaves. They finished both fermenting. It's been around five hours and the both ferment and the dough doubled in size. Now what we need to do is we need to remove the dough from the container and start pre-shaping it. I'm going to wet my hands a little bit so that the dough doesn't stick as much. Quickly go on around the dough here to remove it from the side of the container. Wetting my hands a little bit again. And now I'm going to do one coil fold. Up and be very gentle with the dough. We don't want to degas the dough. Okay. And I'm not doing it from the other sides. I'm satisfied like this. And I'm grabbing in the container and I'm placing the dough like this on the non floured surface. And look at all the beautiful bubbles right in there. Now we're taking the dough scraper and we're going to divide this in half. When you divide, be very swift with your movement. So in the middle approximately. This is going to be the first loaf. And now we have to pre-shape it. We're going to shape it into, a, into something that looks a little bit like a ball. Then we're going to let it rest and then afterwards we can put it into the final shape. For the pre-shaping you have to use around a 45 degree angle. I'm going to wet my hand a little bit again. And now we need to tuck the dough over the surface. This only works if your surface is not floured. At the start I was always using a lot of flour but this doesn't work so we really need it to stick. With the tension we can create a nice looking ball. So now I'm going in here and with my left hand I'm pulling the dough a little bit. And you see here it's already nice and round. So I keep doing that. Look at how nicely this dough is coming together. Perfect, the right amount of pre-shaping. Let's do it one more time with the other, just to show you. My hands are a little bit sticky, so I'm going to wet them again. And now in this case, since this is the area I need to tuck down, I'm going to just rotate the dough a little bit, like this. And now we start again. Hand here, I'm pushing it, and rotate. Pushing and rotate. Pushing and rotate. And rotate. And I just want to show you one more thing. You see here, while I'm pushing it, how this area here becomes more tense. Look at that. That's the pre-shaping. If you're not satisfied, you can also just push it a little bit like this with a swift movement. Don't leave your bent scraper in too long or else it's going to start sticking. You see those nice looking bubbles right here? That's what we want. So the pre-shape, when people ask me when is the pre-shape done, only pre-shape as much as you need. Don't do too much because else you're going to degas your dough. And that's nothing that we want. And personally, I think that the second loaf turned out much better in pre-shaping than the first one. Thanks for watching.